If every website on the internet used just plain HTML code, then all of them would have looked more or less the same. And not good same, but bad same. All the glamour that we see on any website in terms of usage of colors, cool fonts, background images, different effects like component moving slightly on mouse hover or text color changing on mouse hover, etc. Everything is possible because of CSS. Before moving ahead, let's see a few websites without any CSS code. Here we have Facebook's homepage without the CSS code, just HTML. See, how does it look? Let's check out Reddit now and remove the styling from it and see how the Reddit homepage looks like. Wow, that looks hideous. Let's move to the Study Tonight website and see how does that look without any CSS code. Oh. See how bad these websites look, but then wait. Does that mean that HTML alone is of no use when it comes to website development? Well, that's not entirely true. Both HTML and CSS have different roles to play. HTML is used to showcase the content on a web page and to set basic formatting of the content like what is a heading, what is a paragraph, or adding an image or a video or an audio, etc. Whereas CSS is used to manage the layout and appearance of the entire web page as well as individual HTML tags. Think of HTML as the foundation of the building, which every building has, right? And CSS decides how the building will look, the aesthetics and the architecture, the glass panes, the color, everything about the building that is CSS. The Taj Mahal and the pyramids in Egypt both look completely different. Similarly, we can create drastically different looking websites using CSS styling. In 1996, the W3 organization released the CSS style sheet language to enable web developers around the world to use CSS to style their websites. And the world of web development changed forever because now web developers had the creative freedom to make their websites look unique and stylish. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Focus on style, which is the primary purpose of CSS. When we use the browser to open any URL, the browser sends an HTTP request to the server. The server then sends back the response, which is an HTML. Browser understands HTML and create the HTML elements on the browser window screen. If the HTML code has CSS2, then the style is applied on the top of those HTML elements. The CSS code can be added to HTML code in three ways. Inline style code, internal style sheet, and external style sheet. Inline style code means that the CSS code goes within the HTML tag using the style attribute. In the code example below, we have used the style attribute inside the P tag to change the color of the font. In internal style sheet, the CSS code goes in the head section of the HTML code in the style tag. In case of external style sheet, we create a separate file with .css extension, which has the CSS style code and that is loaded in the HTML page. If I want to add some styling to a paragraph tag, I can directly use the name of the paragraph tag, which is P, to add style to it. There are other ways too, but this is the simplest way to provide CSS styling to any HTML tag. And then I can provide the style rules, which are in format, property name, colon, value, end with semicolon. If you want, you can have all three forms of CSS code in HTML code, inline, internal, and external. In that case, inline will have the most preference, we can even provide different styling for the same element in external CSS and in internal CSS and inline as well. In such case, all the rules are applied or override by each other. This is why it is called cascading style sheet. Cascading means flow of water on steps. Similarly, in CSS, if we provide different style rules for same tag at different places, all of it gets added and gets applied to the HTML element.